Come on, we still have to find Dinah and Might. Man, by this time I thought that was like a secondary objective. Oh, this won't budge. All right, I hate this stupid thing. Hey, hey, stop being a temperamental, hormone little teen girl. Calm down. Care to read? I love this. It's not instructions. It's a warning. Throw caution to the wind, baby. Oh my goodness. So I love this original. What in the world? I love the original version of it just by virtue of... This was accomplished using Mode 7 on the Super Nintendo. No easy feat. And I'm sure, you know, it's easy to go back and say, oh, it looks so ugly, but like, like I always say, hey, feel free to do better on Super Nintendo hardware. All right, let's see how beautiful this is on the almighty Switch. Yeah, I mean, this is nice and everything, but I mean, like, looking at the original Super Nintendo background and everything and the extremely limited ability, like, I would say this is not that much more beautiful. What is this? What is this? It's not that much more beautiful than the Super Nintendo version of this, honestly. Ho 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 ho! Well, now you know where you need to use all of the mushrooms to get up that last giant hill. I bet the moles are wondering where I am. I wonder if I'll be dropping in soon. Dinah, haven't I told you often enough to never go into the mines by yourself? That's enough, Ma. Just be happy to have them back. You tell that woman off, sir. We haven't thanked Mario proper either. Well, it's a good thing Mario's a man, because otherwise I doubt he would be showing me any respect at all whatsoever. Look at that. I can actually hold more than 999 coins. What's the limit? One short of 10,000? Interesting questions, these. Wow, okay, this is really cool. You can see the, you know, boundary for where Mario can actually move, but we have, like, land beyond that, which, unsurprisingly, was not able to be done in Super Nintendo. This is not only really cool and realistic, but also, wow, that is really beautiful, too. It just begs you to want to explore outside of the boundary, so it's almost like it's taunting you, but you can't go that far. Secrets. Secrets number two. Once again, really nice background that we can see. Oh, by the way. What, what, whoa, whoa. This isn't a switch, this is something we talk to. My business is to fill in unseen plot peak info in the monster list. What? This is new. Oh, there is still a switch down here. That is so weird. And what is this? No, that's new. Monster list agent. Crazy. It's locked. Oh, extra scene here. What's the matter? The door's not opening or something? We've got ourselves a way inside now, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing we just had this extra dialogue of him explaining to us that there's a way inside now because, like, you know, kids these days are so stupid they can't figure out, like, this scene of Bowser crashing down the door makes it possible for us to now go in through this door that has been completely destroyed. I'll let you join my minions. You can thank me later. Man, they changed a lot of dialogue in this. I prefer him saying that we have joined the Koopa Troop. Oh man, check out this concierge. B? I guess the B is for booster. But now that I say that, what exactly did the BK stand for in the original? 
<laughs> I love how this floor is reflective and shiny. That's really cool. Secrets. What's the big rush? Enter another super awesome character who I wish was canon in the Mario universe. I'm Booster, and this is my famous tower of amusement. Normally, I welcome visitors to play with me and my snifters. Sniffed? What? What is, what is this called now? Please enjoy yourself. At your own risk, that is. Love the music. Hey, where's Sniff at number two? Oh, you gotta wait till he runs back? Oh, interesting. <laughs> What is this? Sniffster. Nice. I love. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm easily entertained, but this is a really cool effect that you need uber processing power to actually pull off. First try! Found a masher and. Oh! Mario hit in the head again. We need, we're gonna need a Mario concussion counter. Secrets. All right, let's see what we got here. Secrets. More secrets. Goodness, you're so kind. Thanks for getting my doll. I'd like to reward you. Here, take this. Booster's charm instead of an amulet. May happiness follow you wherever you go. Oh, wait, 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 time out, time out. The password to open the door is what you actually enter in for your name. And in this save file, you don't select a name. What in the world is the password going to be? Here's the password, Bjorn. Oh, okay, okay. It is in fact just my Nintendo profile name. That's ingenious. Really beautiful. <laughs> timing. Oh my goodness, the timing I'm not gonna know. Oh, there it is. Nice. Oh, red barrel, that's new. Oh, man. Well, hey, for the first time, three flowers I would think is pretty good. If only I was the video game player of the century, I probably could have dodged those Donkey Kong barrels easier like totally legit without cheating or using MAME or save states or anything. But you know, if anyone ever says otherwise, I will sue you. Wow, this is really pretty. I never imagined like evergreen sort of coniferous trees, but this is a really cool touch. I like it. It is really beautiful. It's like Booster Pass. It's begging me to go explore every corner and nook and cranny, but I know where the boundaries are. This is almost sad when you make something so stinking beautiful. Oh, look at this, the egrets here. The, the, this is an exit to the world map, right? But it has like these little cut steps. That is so cool. And check out the view from this side. That is really cool. And check that out. I mean, I don't know if this is 3D modeled or if this is running on parallaxing layers, but look, you can see, you can see a perspective change when Mario shifts his horizontal position here. Mwah! Speaking of Chef's Kiss, in this very next room, we may or may not be talking to a chef. We bake a cake for the big wedding. It must be masterpiece. Mario likes to jump on a lot of things, right? He also likes to jump in cake. What, what, what are you doing? Let's sure hope that if Mario did indeed visit a bathroom, go through a sewer, 
that he has a different pair of shoes or that he cleaned those shoes because he has just stepped in that wedding cake and guess what happens to wedding cakes? People eat them. Wedding Crashers has a completely new meaning after playing this game. Ow, watch what you're doing! Great. I've dropped everything. My shoes, my ring, my brooch, even my cell service, and my crown. Here's a kiss for my hero. Oh, isn't that great? You're gonna kiss him when I'm the one who saved your skin? Me too, I want a reward. I'll take a kiss, give me a kiss. Stop it, all of you. I'm getting so confused. This is for you, Mario. Oh, snap. So now Peach and I are out. What the? Now that's one for the scrapbook. The bride is leafing, but there won't be anyone to eat this cake. And as an extra special topping, it may or may not have some sewer material on the top. It's jiggling. Did you guys accidentally put a scantily clad woman inside of said cake that's gonna suddenly bust out? Concentrate, sir. This doesn't feel right. Mmm, delicious. Congratulations, sir. The wedding is now officially over. Thanks, everyone. It's a wrap. Let's go. Who knew? This game was so educational that it teaches you what weddings are, how they're performed, what makes them become over, and also where babies come from. But I, I hope someone marries me someday. I'm sorry, Mario, but I don't think she's talking to you. I think she's referring to someone who perpetually kidnaps her, because I certainly don't see her put up much of a struggle. Really cool lighting effect. Oh, Raz, I'm so happy. Let's get this wedding over so we can stay in the suite and then go on our honeymoon. So we know the dude, Raz, has to eat the entire wedding cake, and then poof, they're married. And then they can go on their honeymoon. Feet. All right, wedding officially over. Now that man's life is also officially over. Chancellor, the princess, she's back. I've worried everyone, but I'm fine. I can take care of myself. With a little help from Mario. Yeah, thank goodness this game was released in 1996, because if this was released today, it would have to have, like, this feminism messaging, and, like, the Princess Toadstool would be the main character, and, like, she would not need help from any man whatsoever. In fact, all of the men would probably be blubbering idiots that are completely worthless and useless. Indeed. For example, say Bowser kidnapped you, Without the aid of the Star Road, you'd probably never be rescued. Actually, that sounds pretty good to me. Let's just forget about these star things. Great, Bowser. Then you can just kiss your precious keep goodbye. Hmm, let's see. If Mario can't find the stars, Peach will be mine. But I won't get my keep back unless Mario finds the stars. So if I want my keep back, we need those star things. But run that past me again. Ah, just ignore that idiot. We need to go and find those star pieces now. P -p princess You can't be serious. You're not thinking of joining them, are you? They're an all-male team, and you're a woman. This is sheer madness. You're a princess. What will people say? Bye now. Oh, she's gonna jump. She's had enough of, of life. Whew. This game almost got dark in a hurry. Please let Molo find his way home. Why, this wish is... It's from my mom and dad. They're wishing for me to come home. This isn't the time to be crying. They're waiting for me to come home. 
not to be a Debbie Downer, but light can only travel so fast. And so if we look at galaxies, you know, that are, you know, hundreds of millions of light years away, that means it has taken hundreds of millions of years for the light of the stars that we see in the sky every night to reach us. And so are the stars themselves even there anymore? Or have they like all supernova and exploded like eras ago? So in a similar way, when people wish upon a star, we don't know exactly when these were actually wished. And so therefore, is it the case that Malo's parents could in fact be dead hundreds of millions of years ago? Wish I could run faster. Uh-oh, is this Sonic? Because this is a Mario game, so they have to throw some shade at the Sega blur. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, look at what we have here. Totally uncontested and unguarded. Ours for the taking. 